Thank you, loyal supporters of the Angry Easel Paint Parties. And um, thanks for buying a kit again for Christmas time this year. Um, we have a couple paintings for you. In this video, we're going to paint some penguins on an iceberg. And um, in your paint kit, you should have received some canvases, some brushes. I'm going to use a big brush and a small brush and then a variety of paint. So there should be black and white and blue. Um, and that's what we're going to use for our painting today. So we're gonna start with the big brush and we're actually just gonna paint the whole canvas blue. Um, maybe adding in a little bit of lighter streaks with some white. Um, so most of you um, have already painted with us. So you know we don't really add um, water to our brush or to our paint. And um, you can maybe a little tiny bit with some of the smaller paint bottles because it's a little bit thicker than the paint we use here at the studio. But, um, so you wanna take your big brush and we're gonna use some blue paint and we're gonna paint our whole canvas with blue. So I'm gonna start here at the top. I like to paint the sides and the top of my canvas. I'm gonna go all the way down here, across the top. Okay. I might leave a little bit not blue, I'm thinking. Kind of in this area where we're going to put our iceberg anyway, so I might skip part of that. And then paint this middle section here. And maybe this part down here. You could also do this after. You could do the icebergs first and then kind of go around the iceberg with some blue to fill in the ocean if you want to. Just kind of depends on your style. If I were teaching it here in the studio, I would probably do this method. Okay, so that's where we're going to leave it for a little bit um, to dry. So rinse out your brush. You wanna make sure you have a water cup and a paper towel or something to do that with. So go ahead and rinse that out and then we'll get started on the rest of our painting. If you look at your canvas from the side and it looks shiny, it means it's still a little bit wet. So you want to make sure it dries pretty good. Although we are just putting various shades of light blue on here. So if it's a little bit damp, like mine is, that will be okay. For this first part, I'm going to keep using a bigger brush. And we are going to start with some kind of mountains, kind of icebergs in the background here. So I'm going to start with some white and I'm going to fill this part in with these mountain type of icebergs. So I'm just kind of making, I don't want to make like too much of a, like a triangle and I'm just going to fill that part in and it's kind of hard to see maybe on the camera, but mine's turning blue a little bit because I'm pushing on to that blue that I painted before. Okay, which is okay. We kind of want a little bit of that anyway. Okay, maybe it comes down a little bit here. And I'm just using the long side of my brush to kind of create these mountain shapes and just bringing it down like this. Okay, I kind of want to fill this part in here a little bit with blue. So there's like a little break in these uh, mountain iceberg things. Okay. So I'll take some more white. I'm gonna have a taller one right here. And then another kind of peak right here. And then bring it over. There we go. Okay. 
So I'm going to fill this in with white. I'm picking up that blue, which is all right. So we're going to kind of shade this with blue anyway. Okay, so fill that in. I'm going to have these ones kind of come down into this water here a little bit. Let's make it kind of come into the ocean a little bit. So I'm going to fill that in too. Okay. Paint the sides. Okay. Bring that down a little bit. There we go. And I am going to take a little bit of blue on my brush and pull that in to the white. And I'm making kind of these long strokes with my brush, nice and light. I don't want it to mix in too much. I want it to kind of stay a different shade, like it's the front. Kind of pulling it through there. Different shades of white and blue, just to give it some depth. There we go. You just kind of play around with it until you like it. If you get a little bit too much in your water, just kind of even that out. That and a little bit of kind of light lines underneath the iceberg. Or maybe there's some ice in the water. Okay, I'm going to do that same thing on this side. I'm going to add a little bit of light blue in there, pull that through. Take a little bit more white. A little bit more blue. Maybe there's just different layers of icebergs or how the light is hitting them. And some more over here. Going with some lighter white. little bit more. All right, and I'm going to add some of those lines over here too, just really lightly. And actually a couple kind of throughout the water. There we go. All right, um, I have mostly white in my brush, so I'm going to leave it in there. Again, if you have a lot of blue, you might want to rinse that out. And we are going to do this iceberg down here where they're going to be standing and hanging out, doing penguin stuff. Okay. So just kind of making different edges of the iceberg. Kind of choppy a little bit. probably ends kind of abruptly, right? Like it's broken off of another chunk of an iceberg. Okay, and then fill that in. Okay, I'm going to take some blue on my brush and just shade this a little bit. Maybe there's kind of a shadow here in the middle. Again, I'm just going really lightly so it doesn't blend all the way in. You want it to stand out a little bit. I'm gonna make it a little bit darker. I'm gonna have my penguin standing. 
if you can uh, hear noise in the background, um, there's a party going on here at the studio. So sitting in the back room here. Christmas is, well, December is our busiest month for sure. We've had 68 parties. Oops, wrong color. 68 parties so far that have been booked in December. So um, that's at least two a day. Um, we still tend to do more on like Saturday, a couple on Sunday. All right, I'm gonna rinse my brush out now. I can always go back in and add some more shading if I want to. Like if you want in your mountains to do some more shading in there, you can. Just let it dry a little bit so it's a little bit tacky. And just like we did the white parts in the um, ocean, I'm gonna just add a few darker lines too. Sometimes the blue paint can be kind of thin so it doesn't cover super well. It's kind of perfect for what we're doing though. Just some kind of darker lines throughout here. There we go. So again, you can kind of just play around with this um, until you're finding something that you really like. Too much white. Kind of the fun part of just playing around with a couple colors is you can just keep adding more of one or more of the other, playing around with that. All right, okay. Now we need to let this dry a little bit before we put our penguins hanging out over here, okay. So if you want, you can keep kind of playing around with your background. Um, so here's now where you want to probably pause the video again, let this dry a little bit, um, play around with your mountains. Okay, and then I'll see you back here in just a few to paint our penguins. All right, back to our penguins. Okay, I'm gonna add two penguins here having a conversation. Um, and I'm just gonna use black and white. If you wanna get fancy and add a little bit of yellow on there, make it a king penguin, you can, or you can make it a different kind of penguin. I'm just gonna do a pretty basic penguin. Okay, and I am going to start with some white and I'm gonna do his like neck and belly all the way down to his little feet. Okay, so I'm gonna put one here. So I'm gonna draw, there's his chest. So this guy's gonna be facing this way and this one will be facing this way and they'll have some type of penguin conversation. Okay, so I'm kinda gonna make an oval or a rounded rectangle there for his belly and his chest. And go up a little bit more for his neck. There we go. Fill that in. And there's one penguin belly. Okay, now I'm going to make another penguin and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to do a long oval. Okay. little bit of a neck there we go all right <laughs> and you could add as many penguins you could fill this whole thing with penguins if you want you could have some penguins over here some penguins swimming okay I'm just gonna do these two penguins um, but they're gonna all be the same basic shape if you want to add some more okay so I'm gonna take a little bit of black and I'm gonna start by outlining the side of his neck and down his belly, kind of like where his back is. Okay, all the way down. Give him a little tail here. There we go. Cute little tail. Bring it down to the bottom. And I'm going to give him little feet. 
and I just made a couple lines, but they look pretty good from far away. Okay. And then I'm going to make his neck and I'm going to make him kind of looking up here. So he's like looking back at his friend. So he's a little bit forward in the picture. So there's his head. Like a little bit of a beak. I need to give him a, a flipper here. So I'm gonna, he's gonna be saying like, no, let's go this way. He's pointing. There we go. <laughs> I love penguins, so I could think about penguin conversations all day. Make his beak a little bit sharper. There we go. Let's make his flipper a little bit longer. There we go. Oh, what a cute guy. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side with this penguin. So I'm gonna start again by going from his neck all the way down his back. Give him a little tail. If you have a lot of buildup in your brush, like a lot of black in there and you're trying to do kind of a finer line, you wanna wipe it out. There we go, that helps a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna give him a little, some little feet. There we go. Give him a rounded head. So I just did a little kind of half circle up there. Need to go down into my white. There we go. Give him a beak like he's talking to his friend. And just gonna extend kind of his back. So this is his flipper here. Kinda looks like he has his hands on his hips a little bit. <laughs> All right, let's make his beak a tiny bit longer. There we go. All right. Okay. And that really is all there is to our penguins. If you want to add more penguins on there, you can. Um, this is kind of a super simple painting that you can add things to. Maybe you want to have, like I said, other penguins, or you can have something else out in the water. If you want to get fancy, you can add a boat or something. I'm just trying to make this a little bit rounder without getting into my white. Still get into my white. So if this keeps happening to you and you are a little more patient than I am, um, you want to let it dry a little bit and then you can fill it in. Okay? So again, kind of a simple painting, but you can add it, add to it, make it your own. Um, and that is it for our penguin painting. Thank you.